Hi there everyone, welcome to Technoholic. In this video, we will talk about how we can improve the speed or performance of our Windows 11 machine. Especially this is very useful in case of low spec PC. And the method I'm gonna share with you are pretty simple and straightforward and anyone can do it without having a very deep understanding of settings or computer knowledge. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so here we can see this is our desktop and if I press menu button here you will see a lot of apps. Now you might have seen in some phones um, they also come with lot of bloatware. Similar is the situation with windows as well. So here you will see there are ton of apps that I am never going to use them. For example, Sudoku, I don't play it and I never ever have opened it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete all these bloatware from my system that will eventually improve the performance of my system. So this is going to be our first step in our journey. So let me make a right click here and then click on install. And in this way guys, we can install it. Now I can also delete this prime video and to do, I'm gonna use it. Now to see all these apps, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go here in search and here I'm gonna type add and remove programs. Now when you will go there, you will find more such apps that you may or may not use. For example, Microsoft Team. Yes, I use it, but only for professional use. And that system is different. So I'm going to install it from this one. Maybe Mails and Calendar also. Let's say in your case, you use it, you can keep it or else you can install it. Now here we also have got this Outlook which is different than the regular application and then I can delete it actually. In the same way guys, you need to find all these kind of software that you're not going to use. For example, this Maps. I do not use this map that is installed in Windows 11 so I can delete it. Similarly, Nearby Share. So like this guys, you can install all the apps that you do not use. Now I'm going to close this. Okay, now let's talk about the next setting, which is enabling the storage sense. For that, let's click here on this menu button and then go to settings. Now here you need to type storage settings and here you have this option which is storage sense, just enable it. As you can see here, it will make your windows running smoothly by automatically cleaning up temporary systems and app files. So this setting exactly going to do the same. Now here you have an option to schedule this cleaning. First one is during low disk space. So let's just change it from low disk space to every week. Now this storage sense will automatically clean your system every week and guess what you do not need to do anything isn't it cool guys okay now I'm gonna talk about the next setting here which is adjusting our system for the performance for that simply click here on menu button you need to search for this particular one so I just wrote adjust and then you can see the setting arrive which is adjust your system for either performance or appearance. So I'm gonna choose the thing which is in between both. But let's say the performance is your only dire need. So you can simply select here, adjust for best performance and simply click on apply. So what this setting going to do is it going to minimize the animation and visual effect and going to improve the performance of your system. So here you can see, I can only see the outline of this window. So this is one of the difference that you can immediately notice. But let's say you want to enable some of these options. For example, you want to make smooth scroll list box or um, you know, you want smooth edge of screen font. So based on your need, you can enable some of these settings. Now let's say you want your system to decide what is good for you. And in that case, you need to select this option, which is let window choose what is best for my system. Now, based on your need, you can choose which setting you need or which setting you can disable. 
now if we go to advanced here you can see the setting which says adjust the best performance for home for programs or for background services so make sure that it is selected for program as this will give more priority to running program rather than background services then here we have got this virtual memory let's say if you are low on ram then you can for sure increase this value from 9 gb to more for that you simply need to click on custom size and then here you need to define the value so it was 9 gb this one but let's say i'm gonna make it 16 gb so i'm just going to write it here as 16 gb okay and for maximum size i'm gonna write 18 gb and then i'm gonna click here on set so in this way guys we have increased this page size but in my case i'm gonna keep it as it is and now let's talk about a software that is completely free and launched by windows itself so here i'm talking about microsoft pc manager for that let me just simply open browser and now here i'm gonna type microsoft pc manager now simply click on this first link and now click here on download and not to worry guys i'm gonna also provide this website link in the description of this video from there also you can directly reach to this page now we have downloaded this setup now i'm gonna simply open it and run it and now i need to click here on i accept and install it okay so we have successfully installed it now let's click here on launch now and here we go you can see finally we have successfully installed microsoft pc manager now what here you need to do is you simply need to press this button which says boost and you will see all your temp file which was around 1.2 gigabyte in my case got vanished so we have just saved 1.2 gigabyte of space and you might have seen the memory uses also went down from 20 percent to 80 percent in my case now here you also have an option of smart boost which will automatically boost your pc whenever you know there will be a high ram uses or whenever there will be more than one gigabyte of temporary storage isn't it cool guys now let me just go back and here you have multiple other options like health check storage management you have a deep clean all these option at one place if you want to dive deep in microsoft pc manager then i have created separate dedicated tutorial about it so you can follow that and check out the entire capability of microsoft pc manager the last thing here i'm gonna talk about is your power plan especially i would say it is very useful in case of laptop users for that you simply need to click here on menu button and now type power plan and then click on this option which is edit power plan this will open this screen from here you need to click on change advanced power setting which will again open this pop-up window and from here you need to choose ultimate performance okay and now simply click ok so what this plan will do is it will improve your pc response time and eventually improve your system performance the only downside i would say of this plan is that it will consume more energy and may cause more wear and tear especially in case of your hard drive i would say in case of desktop it would the effect will be not that high but yes if you are using laptop then you may see your battery is draining pretty fast so based on your need you can always change this plan from ultimate performance to balance okay before we proceed further if you want to see more such tutorial that going to help you in your day-to-day -day life then i would suggest you to consider subscribing to this channel as we keep on bringing more such productivity videos that are going to help you in your day-to-day -day life so that's all guys from my side in this video i hope that you find this video helpful and informational if yes then don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel for more such content and i will catch you soon in my next video till then take care and bye bye